These Iraqi marshes once covered 20,000 square kilometers of land. People have lived here for thousands of years. It is part of the so-called cradle of civilization, known as the birthplace of agriculture, cities, and writing. The United Nations lists the marshes as a World Heritage Site. But in the past four years of drought, hundreds of families have been forced to flee their homes and give up their jobs. Protesters say there is not enough water to raise their animals, fish, or even to drink. They carry signs saying, enough promises, the marshes are dying. They want to displace us. Clean water is given to dogs and pigs, but it's kept from us. Much of the marshland was drained under former Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein, and the recovery after his fall has been marred by upstream dams, pollution, and now drought. At the UN climate conference in Sharm el-Sheikh, Egypt, the World Health Organization said by 2025, half the world's population will live in water-stressed areas. Protesters here say climate change and climate justice are the same issue, with the world's hardest-hit people being driven from their homes and livelihoods. We want land to the farmers, land to landless. We want land to the poor farmers. Raising water buffalo and fishing are two of the main occupations in the Iraqi marshlands. Families across the region have had to sell off their animals or watch them die. Local officials say more than 1,500 fishermen have been forced to give up their work in recent years. We can't make a living without water. Our animals have died. The marshes are gone. We lost our houses. We have become lost birds. Despite government calls for emergency aid at the climate conference, families here say there are no government or international programs in place. Iraq is listed by the UN as the fifth most vulnerable country in the world to climate change due to rising temperatures and the decreasing availability of food and water. For VOA, Heather Murdoch in Sharm el-Sheikh, Egypt, with Alain Akoy in Dikar, Iraq.